At 13 months, a Denver baby is already a survivor. She has undergone two brain surgeries and will have a more challenging time developing. Sophie has hydrocephalus. It's a condition that results in fluid building up in the head and that increases pressure to the brain. We have Jacqueline Quinn who is joining us live this morning to share Sophie's story. Britt, the Hydrocephalus Association says about one out of a thousand babies are born with this condition and it's more common than you think. But there's currently no cure. That's why the Heinz are sharing their story so that perhaps one day researchers can find one. Open, 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 point your thumb. Almost every morning, Erica Heinz sings this song to her baby, Sophie. And we are anchoring this kinesiology tape um, that's hopefully giving her thumb some reinforcement. Like a fighter, one-year-old Sophie has faced many battles. And it was just kind of a routine pediatrician visit um, that they discovered it. And how they discovered it was that her head circumference had grown off the charts. Sophie's doctor diagnosed her with congenital hydrocephalus, a condition where excess cerebrospinal fluid builds up in the brain and increases pressure in the head. So we were um, pretty surprised and taken off guard when our pediatrician said, you need to go to the ER right now. At just six weeks old, Sophie had her first brain surgery. Doctors tried to clear a blockage. You know, you're going into it as parents, kind of scared to death. She to her parents' her surprise, that surgery didn't go well. It actually caused a brain bleed, which led to a stroke, and that led to seizures. And her, um, her head circumference continued to grow, the pressure built in her head. At eight weeks, Sophie went back for another surgery to place a hollow tube in her head to drain the cerebrospinal fluid called a shunt. Interesting thing is that she has two feet of tubing coiled up in her belly. Um, that will grow with her. She'll always have that shunt, and as she grows, things like eating, crawling, or even playing will come with challenges. I think until you enter the world of special needs and rare diagnosis, it's hard to understand maybe what families go through, and there's definitely um, periods of feeling isolated. Despite all these obstacles, Sophie's family believes raising more awareness about her condition could help find a cure. It would be incredible to yeah. see other kids not have to go through surgery and not have to um, be put at risk for those complications. While there's a fear that the shunt could fail, the Heinz have hope and faith that Sophie's future is bright. All done. All done. Now, this condition can affect adults as well, but Sophie's parents say they know of at least 10 other families around Colorado. They've come together to support each other, and they say still not enough people know about this. Alan, Britt. Thank you so much. Little Sophie is just a beautiful baby. And a great smile on that mm -hmm. little girl.